Hi guys, this is Mahmood. In this video tutorial series, I will show you how to create this responsive navigation bar using CSS3 and HTML5. Okay, let me show you first how it is responsive. See, it's adjustable for all the devices. See, for, for larger devices and also for smaller devices, tablets, smartphones, iPads, for all devices, it's flexible see see guys it has a navigation menu even in smaller version you you can easily access a sub menu in this navigation menu so guys this is responsive guys it's not showing any horizontal bar at the bottom it's it will be flexible for all the devices yes okay, so in this tutorial series we are learning how to create this navigation menu using CSS3 and HTML5 ok so guys uh, to create this I am using a framework skeleton framework get skeleton see go to get skeleton.com and then download it and there is a link to download you can download it see this is a 960 uh, pixel width grid and it has it has layer, layer 12 columns see guys with this uh, framework you can easily uh, quickly and fast you can create your responsive websites okay guys just download it and use it in your development process i have downloaded it already so I will use it okay now let's come this way okay now let us start guys okay I have created a folder called responsive menu in that I have created CSS and JS file in CSS I have copied my skeleton files these two files will come from your get skeleton framework base and skeleton and this style.css i am using for my uh, custom css okay and then uh, here there is no use of use of js but still i have created it okay now let's go to your editor okay now i have an uh, in this uh, tutorial i will create an html file i will write html code for it and then in next tutorial I'll start writing CSS. Okay, guys. Okay, then start writing uh, top type. Top type. Okay, here there should be exclamation mark. Save it. By doing this, you are telling to browser that you are uh, consider this page as a HTML file page. Okay. Now uh, write other tags html right. then title responsive menu okay now let us link our CSS files. Okay. R E L plus two style sheet type equals to text by CSS and then href plus two CSS is our folder in that I have three files base dot css then copy it by pressing ctrl c and now come here and enter and paste it and change the files skeleton dot css and then come down and then again paste styles dot css ok guys now i have a link to my css files let us start writing our html body Okay, 
now come here just create a div do with a class of container see guys this container has been already been defined in our skeleton framework and they have assigned 960 pixel width to this container class okay now create another tube with a was equals to container then navigation okay now just create a nav nav is an html5 tag we create a unordered list let us give it a loss as menu and now let us create a list under it now guys copy it copy and paste it four five four, four times and change the links about us services blocks and contact us okay guys now i have created our uh, html just go to our page and refresh it uh, to go to let us see see the uh, these five links are displaying Anyways, it's uh, our base skeleton framework is having a file called base.css it has some default css styles when you use that css style it will give some default styling to your page okay guys uh, this much is enough for this tutorial guys i will see you in my next video where i will style this navigation menu and try to give st color styles like this okay uh, anyways i will uh, i will see you in my next video i hope you enjoyed it if you like this please if you like this video please in uh, subscribe to my channel thanks for watching